Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to Next Gen PGA Tour 2K21 live here on the channel. Today we are going to be competing in the Western Cape Classic at the club at Hermanus Ridge. This is Early1981's World of Golf Society, that's me, and it looks like Jay Walsh is already out in the course. This is actually a sign. Jay Walsh is my partner for an upcoming alt shot event and he was my partner in a previous event so um, guys go and head over to his channel it is here's johnny94 I will leave a link in the description but let's check out the conditions wind speeds medium northeast fairways are firm greens are firm and fast and we are playing from the back tees and pin set number two but that is really a sign guys because I was going to be giving him a shout out on my channel today Please head over to his channel if you are a, a fan of the PGA Tour 2K21. He does upload some great content and he is an absolute machine. He is flying up the TGC Tours world rankings at the moment. We will be playing on the more trickier side of pro difficulty settings today. The society is locked out at pro difficulty. But first time playing this course, this one was selected by our PC admin on the society. I think it's a South African course. And that was a drive. There's a slight wow. fast. The See that swing line? That's probably as bad as my swing line is going to get, I feel, on this dual sense 5. I do really feel it's a an easy controller to play with. It's just my swing timing. I'm still trying to get dialed in a little bit. But I think we can reach this comfortably with the fitty wood. Try and use that ridge. It's going to take our ball hard left. Oh, there's a beautiful strike. This has surely got to come off this ridge here and work its way down towards the pin. But this is going to be exciting going toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Jay Walsh. Like I say, the man is playing out his skin at the moment. So that is going to leave us a 25-foot putt. Down 5 inches. Green speeds are slick at 181. Just going to set this out down the right. And it should turn back. It's a really good putt light. Oh, that's in. Should be picking up an eagle. Oh, my goodness. How did that not drop? That looked in all the way. We will have to settle for the birdie. Disappointed that eagle didn't drop. It's a great way to start the round. And we do move to one under par. Hole number two. It is a par three. Stunning views this, by the way. 166 yards, 2 feet down, 6 mile per hour in our winds. I'm going to have to fully loft up this full iron, full backspin. Hopefully just land this short of the pin and it should bite. That swing was it's a laser beam. Beautiful yardage too. Needs to stay up, needs to stay up. It should kick on to the green but we're not going to get as close as I would have liked. Probably looking about a 12 yeah, foot putt here. 14 feet. Not a lot of movement in these greens, to be honest. Just going outside left edge of the cup here. That should turn and hold. And it has done, and we do drop that right into the center of the cup. And we do move to two under par. But guys, thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. We are really... Um, try go places with this channel with the acquisition of a new PlayStation 5. The world is our oyster. But I do really appreciate everyone who does watch my content. Leaves a like and comments. And most importantly, hits the subscribe button. If you haven't already done so, please do so now. Slight fast there, but this may kick right up onto this dance floor. No, kick straight forward and over to the left-hand side. Didn't play for the intentional fast there. I'm not sure if we would have made it up onto the dance floor regardless if we hit the perfect. Let's try and chip this. And give it a chance of getting there. There's a horrible swing line on a fast. And it's going to come up a little bit short despite really adding a lot of topspin to that. But we do pick up another birdie, so really good solid start here. Three consecutive birdies, and we do move to three under par. If you guys are looking for a casual society with the best courses to play, look no further. And we are on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. My admins and myself do try and source the best courses available 
for your guys playing and viewing pleasure. Like I say, we are hosting a lot of in-house society friendly events. I did not expect that wind to keep me as straight as that. Really expected to, to land a lot more left. We are going to be playing this from the heavy rough. Could say it was a lucky kick. You could say it was unlucky because we could have easily been bunkered there. But I think this gap wedge should land short off the pin and hopefully sit down. It's a great strike. This could be good if it sits, but it is coming out the heavy raft. Ah, oh, it didn't check up. And that is going to be a bit of a nasty putt. Nice shot. That'll, that'll do. Four under par if you can take this right Once here. again, though, not an impossible putt. Definitely going to turn from left to right. It's a good putt line. Great execution. And I tell you what, it's an even better read. Four straight birdies, and we do move to four under par. Great start to this round. Really enjoying this course. It's another fantastic course being picked for the Society event. Jay Walsh currently one under. I'm sure he will start motoring along and get on the birdie streaks. Hole number five, dog leg right. Quite a short par four, though. I'm actually using this Ben Hogan driver. 290 yards, 9 degree loft, nice swing on that. so the wind doesn't affect it too much. There is a perfect 100%. Nice swing line also. And that is going to leave us no more. And this 4 iron into this. This is actually a really tough, tough green with tough pin. Ball our feet's going to slope hard right. Got to aim way left here because if I land right at the flag stick, this ball's going to disappear off the green. So just try to get this as close to the pin. It should sit down. We have pulled that left. It's not affecting us too much. This should really sit down pretty quickly. Go on, bite. And I tell you something, guys. You're not going to see a closer shot than that all week. I don't think. Eight feet. If anyone gets closer than that, I will be surprised. And I would tip my hat to them. Is it going to turn? It does turn. But my putting today so far is pretty good. Normally my putting is my Achilles heel. As I'm sure the majority of you guys know. And it does determine whether I'm going to shoot. An 8 under. Or a 15 under. That is the difference. But as they say. Driving's for show. Putting's for dough. And we do move on. To the 6th hole. 9 mile per hour wind. I'm just going to try and come down the right hand side of this. Fairway taking that bunker out of the equation. There's a slight slope. But this fairway should kick left. Surely this has got to kick back into play. Would be unlucky if it didn't. Just rolls back out into the fairway. And this is a nasty downhill approach shot here. 243 yards, down 29 feet, 7 mile per hour wind. Oh, five high, but it's just going to come up short, I think. We're going to fully loft up this five wood. I'm going to try and go for a partial here. Probably about 90%. See if we can kick it on. Oh, my good. Now, that did not feel like a slow, guys. I know we all say it, but I was actually reading or came across a very good article. I'll actually um, pin it into the video description. I'll send the, the link there to it, along with Jay Walsh's YouTube channel. And it's a great read about the swing timing on this game. I mean, don't get me wrong, everyone has said, I need to just splash this short of the green. Great execution. This should bite now. Oh, why, that has just gained speed. That could well be a bogey. Cannot believe that did not check up. I'm sure I put full backspin on that. Just the firm terrain. Really picked up momentum with that ball there. And this is a tough putt. Should turn. Oh, no. That is going to be a bogey. Huge error on my part there. But I honestly did not feel that that approach shot was a slow. Now, I know we all say that. I've said that before when clearly it has been me. But I really didn't think that that was a slow there. But I will add the link to the article I am speaking about. It's a really good read about how guys used... Um, mechanical instruments to swing precisely at the same speed every time when we're getting different outcomes with this game. 
I'm not sure if HB Studios and 2K did add, deliberately add a bit of randomness to this game, because I certainly feel like they did. We're back on the perfect trail here, and that is right down the fairway. But really enjoying my time out here in this course. Four under, we were five. Let's see if we can get back to five under here. This is going to be perfect. If we are slightly too long, which I don't expect to be, we do have a backstop, but going to deal off this 8-iron just a touch, keep it below the wind. And it should bounce fairly firmly, get a good roll out in these firm greens. I do apologise, guys, if I am taking slightly longer on some of these shots. I mean, geez, oh, I must be one of the, the quickest players out there on YouTube. Don't think my videos go past 26, 27 minutes, but I did have someone say that in my previous video that they weren't enjoying the the practice swings I do. It's not a real practice swing. I'm not clicking R3. I've just got to get a feel for it, but it's quite difficult making the transition from the DualSense 4 to the DualSense 5, a brand new console, and playing in this 60 hertz um, upgrade. It really does feel like it's a different game, so I do apologise if my swing's not as fluent or as quick as normal. But I'm just going to apply a good bit of fade onto this, try and miss these bunkers on the left-hand side. Great execution. Oh, the fade's not kicking in. Clearly didn't apply enough fade, and that is bunker bound. That could be a huge error here. Par 5. I keep forgetting to look at how Jay Walsh is getting on. I'm sure he'll be certainly under par anyway. He was one under par the last time I did notice. I'm just going to have to try and hack this out here. This ball's going to move hard right at my feet, but surely that wind will bring it back with a six iron. Pulled it left slightly. Wow. That slope at my feet just went 180 degrees right. So we are going to have to play this from the heavy rough. We do have 99 yards, down 5 feet, 7 mile per hour crosswind. I do think the gap wedge is perfect for this. Just going to apply a good bit of backspin here. Try and use that slope as well. Oh, it's a great strike. Just get the perfect. This ball should roll down towards the pin. Has it got the legs? Ah, oh, it didn't come out as well as I expected it to. Probably didn't need the backspin at all. It's another makeable putt. There's a fair bit of movement in it, but not ridiculously tough. It's on a good line. Is it going to hold its line? It does hold its line. Now, I'll tell you something, guys. Heaps of society events, I've actually played better from fairway to green and left myself closer putts and missed them. So, as you can see, putting today is really good. I think to be an elite player in this game, Jay Walsh is still one under. I'm sure he will start to, to pick up birdies as the course does progress. But yeah, I feel to be an elite player in this game, you've got to consistently putt well. Oh my but we're swinging well. Like I've always professed, guys, I can swing fairly straight to laser beam straight with any controller you give me. But this DualSense 5 just feels like you can swing consistently straight fairly easy. And here's, here's Johnny94 who's actually on the course with me. Like I say, I've been watching a lot of his uploads. I think he actually swings straight to me. So a lot of people are saying that the DualSense 5 has um, really improved their game. I know the Apex Hounds games went from strength to strength since he's went on to the, the PlayStation 5. Nice shot into this green. Good work. It's another fantastic and approach shot. 10 feet. This one's going to turn from right to left. It's going about a cup and a half outside, and we do execute another birdie. This is probably the best my putt line's been since uh, I've made the transition over to the PlayStation 5 with a DualSense 5 controller. Oh, look at that, Jay Walsh. Oh, he's through 18 holes. I was going to say, why, where on earth has he picked up six strokes over the last couple of holes? He has finished at seven under. So it just shows you this course is going to possess... A real challenge to everyone. I think it's the pin location. If you're not getting close to them, you're going to have some nasty putts. 
So we're putting a lot of loft, a lot of backspin in the seven. Oh, there's a slight slope. And with that wind, that ball's just going to accelerate away to the right. Far too much yardage anyway. And there's exactly what I just said. If you're not getting close to these pins, this is a nasty uphill putt from 24 feet out. It's another good putt line, but didn't allow enough for the break. Slightly under hit that one as well. And we do pick up the par, and we are going to the main at 7 under par. Absolutely solid front 9 there from me. 8 birdies and a bogey, we didn't have 1 par in the front 9. I think I've only managed to win 1 society event. I think I've came second on a few occasions, but the winner turned out to be a ch well, not a cheat, but he was chipping Ooh, on the greens. Every shot it's kind of makes a farce of the game. But I think I've only had one official win. On but the amount of talented players we do have in our society, I'm just glad to be coming consistently top 10. Surely we can use this slope here. I'm just going to try and draw this in. This is actually a really tough pin. And allow that slope to feed us down. We get the perfect. I've not allowed enough draw. That's going to miss the slope, I do feel. It's going to be a pin high putt, I do think. But yardage was good. Just really didn't apply enough draw to that shot. So we do have a 32 foot putt. A lot of swing in this one. Going to break hard right to left. Breaking multiple ways. And I have really over hit that. Had a decent read. Five foot putt here. This is a missable putt from five feet. Got to take my time here. This putt's going. Good read, good putt. And we do manage to, to save the part. Slow start to the back nine compared to the front nine. We were lights out in that front nine. Like I say, eight birdies and a bogey, not one par. But we have started with two here pars here. This really is a fantastic course. I've got no idea who designed it, guys. Like I say, first time I've played it. This was our PC, PC president's pick. That's quite tough to say. Three Ps. Oh, there's a huge slow. That was a slow. How's this going to kick? Oh, wow. Right off the branch. And that has kicked us probably about 30 yards back. But we'll take it. Could have been a lot worse. Long uphill approach shot here. I think five would. Full law, full backspin, and we're going to have to go a partial shot here. This could go anywhere. So partial shot, try to kick it into that bank that is defending this pin. Oh, what execution. This could go in the hole, guys, if this does kick right, kick left. But what a fantastic shot. And surely, guys, if I, <coughs> pardon me, if I am taking a couple of practice swings like that, but executing shots like that, um, it's worth the wait. We need to execute this putt for the birdie. No point playing a shot like that then missing it. That is a fantastic birdie. And we do pick up our first birdie of the back nine and move to eight under par. But this game on the PlayStation 5 is just so much smoother, looks so much better. Plays a lot quicker as well. The loading times are ridiculously quick. In a good way, obviously. So I think if we use that slope just to the left of the flag, that's a percentage shot. So just going to apply a little bit of top spin to the 7 iron. Allow that wind to turn us all the way over to that slope. We do get the perfect. Wind's not turning me as much to the left as I expected it to. Didn't catch the top of the slope, but it should still work its way down towards the pin. Good outcome. 13 foot putt. This one is going to turn fairly aggressively through the first few feet. And then straighten out. It's a good putt. I tell you something, our putting is on fire this round. And we do pick up another birdie and move to 9 under par. Been playing well the majority of the round. We have made a few mistakes. Okay, let's do this. We do move on to hole number 14. A lot of tight fairways as well. You do have an option left here. 
just taking down the left hand side of this fairway, taking that bunker out of the equation hopefully. We really are starting to get a feel for our swing. Swing line and tempo certainly improving as the round progresses. And that's going to leave us a long approach shot into this 14th green. I think we can just deal off this 6 iron. Try and use that slope once again to our advantage. And kick it up towards the flag stick. That ball really moves hard left at our feet. Oh, it's not going to reach the green. Still a firm fairway. If we did manage to get an extra yard or two in the air, that ball would have took a lot more firmer kick and left us a closer putt than 28 feet. Huge pool left. Wow, look at that though. Despite that pool left, either I completely misread that or the putt line doesn't... Um, affect the outcome of the, the putt as much as you think it does. But we'll take the par. We are going to be setting a decent score for everyone else to go and uh, chase down. But this course will pose problems to all level of players. Perfect, perfect. And that should leave us a good look at this green. I think we may just about be able to reach this with driver off the deck. Because it is... No, we're not. I don't think we'll reach. But we are going to play driver. With a firm terrain, we may get a good kick. No, it's going to come up short. But this should kick left. Hopefully, it's going to leave us a splash or a flop. 32 yards. We do have a club made for this with a splash shot. There it is, pitching wedge. Just going to pull this back because it does run out a bit. Full law, full backspin, partial shot, which we do achieve. And we are currently on autopilot. I'm not even having to think about my swing at this moment in time, guys. And we do move to 10 under par with three holes to play. Let's see if we can finish at 11, 12 under. I think about 14, 15 under would win this because I have left a few um, holes out there with a few slows. We did bogey that one. That was a huge error. But going to have to really fade this and just hope we've got enough fairway to work with. Some of these fairways are really tight. That ball needs to get down. Hoping it holds on to the right-hand side of this fairway. Come on, check up. That is a great tee shot. Oh, I'm going to have to play the pitch here. That one was against me. I'd be going with a, a full wedge. Just going to deal off this a touch. It is up 12 feet. Oh, my goodness. We get the perfect. Is it going to bite, though? Oh, it didn't bite. It's going to leave us a chip from the fringe. This should be bread and butter here. Just going to apply full backspin so we don't. Run out too far if I do miss it. But I should not be missing this. Very easy chip and I have missed it. Fast pull left. Couldn't have played that any worse. Ah, disappointed there guys. So that is another mistake I do feel. We do normally chip them in. Probably 7 times out of 10. In that instance I do chip that in. That was poor. But we are going to remain at 10 under par. The penultimate hole of this fantastic course, by the way. 147 yards, down 13 feet, 5 mile per hour wind. I'm just going full backspin here. Try and use that slope. Should feed it back. There's a, a slow, but we have pulled it left. Should counteract it. How on earth is that ball flying so far? That is a huge error in my judgment there. Wow. 28 feet, one foot downhill. I was trying to play the slope as well. We completely flew by it. We've just feathered that down the slope. That needs to slow up. That has really picked up pace. And that is going to leave us a, a six foot putt for par. Which we do convert, so we do move on to the 18 fold, 10 under. We have had a lot quieter of a back nine compared to the front nine, but I do feel this back nine is a lot more challenging than the front nine. 
have made a few mistakes. Jay Walsh in the clubhouse at seven under. Solid round for him. Like I say, he's a player currently on top of his game. So this course is going to pose a challenge to the majority of players out there. That's a really good drive. 298 yards, but w yeah, we, this surely kicks on. With a good execution, this has got to kick on. Slight fast, which is probably going to help me out here. This has got to kick right. And with the firm terrain, this could run all the way up towards the flag. It's dying on that uphill slope. But we do have a, a long putt for Eagle here. Oh, this is a tough putt. This is really going to break hard left to right. Just need to get the weight. This is a lag putt. Just looking to leave it close. Oh, look at that putt line early. Tell you what, once again, the putt line probably helped us out, but we are going to tap that in for par. And we do finish the round at 11 under, which is a 61. Probably should have been 12 or 13 under, but it's going to be a great score for you guys who are in the society on the PlayStation 4 or 5 to go and chase down. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.